will go straight. I think Little Tokyo's up ahead here on the... somewhere up ahead. And Little Tokyo is fun. Here's the LA Times building. I actually want to turn right here, but I can't. Because it's a one-way street. Well, I can, but I probably shouldn't if I ever want to see my family again. Sharrows. Sharrows are good. Sharrow means sharing arrow. How clever, right? It's meant to uh, indicate to motorists that bicyclists are allowed to drive on the road with them. And of course, motorists don't care and still get pissed, but you know, this, it's just a sign, a symbol to indicate the law. So what is this? Now we're in Little Tokyo. I used to love coming here as a youth. Not in high school. In high school, I didn't even know this was here. But uh, in college, I started getting more interested in uh, Japanese culture, the Japanese language, all this other stuff. I became what you probably would fairly call, you probably would be fair in calling a weeaboo, which I am now ashamed of, but can't do anything about. Anyway, this is Little Tokyo. There's, you know, I've matured a bit in my attitude towards Japanese culture in general, but, you know, I have a more realistic idea of it and opinion of it. But, uh, you know, I'm not just blindly romanticizing it in every way, the way that I used to. But there's still a lot to be said for their food and some of their, you know, their fashion and other things. So I like to come down here from time to time and experience Little Tokyo. A very little Tokyo it is, if you've ever seen the real thing. And that's it for Los Angeles City proper. We're now exiting into the area that's called East LA and is known for sh gang activity and shootings. Hooray! For no apparent reason, my camera is working better today than it was yesterday. It hasn't crashed on me yet. It hasn't frozen up or lost or corrupted any videos, to my knowledge. The day is young. Man, I used to love taking public transportation until the day that I got a motorcycle and also public transportation doesn't actually run any place that I need to go. So that sign is in Japanese and what it says is Chine China Room Hotel. I'm very curious about what's inside. It's sort of a, well, I mean, it's older, so you can't blame it, but it's a sort of a sketchy looking building and it's called China Room Hotel written in Japanese. You've got to wonder what's going on in there. First Street East is what I want. This is a bridge, those are trains, that's the LA River. It's beautiful out here. I actually love this architecture, the just the the look of the, the environment around the LA River is very interesting and fun and fascinating to me. I like it a lot. When I rode my bike, my pedal bike with uh, a Wednesday night riding group way back when. We used to come out all the time and ride up and down by the river. We never actually entered the river, at least not on any of the rides that I was a part of, but we, you know, we visited the river often and enjoyed the sights and stenches that accompany it. Policia! La Policia! Some sort of plaza or whatever. I think that plaza is famous for something, but I don't know what. Maybe I'll look it up and insert a blurb about it here. Somewhere. So my goal on this ride, this really long ride, this is going to be a multi-part video, by the way. This is probably already part four or five, so, you know, if, you, if you're watching, this announcement should be unnecessary to you. But the point of this video is for me to make it from the San Fernando Valley where I live to my girlfriend's house in Orange County without using any maps and without using any freeways, because that would be cheating. I just need to rely on my wits and my knowledge of the area to get me where I'm going. So it should be a, a fun challenge. 
I want I tried doing this once before and it was before I set up my uh, USB power supply on the motorcycle to power my camera Ooh, a spooky graveyard this is a truly spooky graveyard it doesn't look like it's kept up at all all the grass is dead looks like people water the grass near the graves they care about if they want wow that's but anyway, yeah, the goal is to make it to my destination without freeways, without maps. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I was saying, uh, I tried this once before. It was before I had set up my USB power supply on this bike, so uh, the camera died. You may have noticed, actually, in a lot of my videos, uh, this one included, the snake video included, the snake was riding with Tom. Uh, the video of the longboarders is where I f it first really became noticeable to me. I tend to leave a really large distance between me and the car or vehicle in front of me. And that's because the first accident I was ever involved with was a rear-ender, a rear-end collision. And that just made a really big impact on me. <laughs> a big impact, get it? So ever since then, I've just been really, really, you know, we were the ones who got rear-ended. And ever since then, I've just, I've been so careful. Like, I try really hard not to put myself in a situation where I might rear-end somebody. I'm super conscious of it. And when, I, I don't concentrate on it as much as I should, especially when I'm on the bike, but I try really hard not to put me myself in a situation where I could get rear-ended. <laughs> 